Right, Sea Otter is a huge magnet for those big, big pros in the industry. And with that, they bring their bikes. So I'm gonna go and hunt them down and find out what makes their bike super pro to them. Right, the Canyon Spectral. This is Joe Barnes and the Dude of Hazards graphics. Got his name on the front there. You can't buy this color scheme. It's for the team only. Enduro Rider. In the front here, he's got these wicked grips, the Ergon GE ones. Love this color. And then the attention to detail that his mechanic's gone into. He's got grip tape on his levers, front and rear, on his dropper post, even a shifter. And another good thing about this that makes it even more pro, he has his name on his forks. I'm straight up calling this thing a super nice. I don't care what anyone else says. This is Jenny Resvet, Scott Spark. Full carbon, I love the color, it's a signature. It's got a name on it, but what makes this thing a, a pro bike is these forks up the front are RockShox Sid. This color fork you cannot buy, it's only for her. And there's gold everywhere, super bling on the graphics on the levers. There's gold in a drive chain, gold bolts to hold a bottle cage on, and that represents an Olympic gold winning champ. Jenny Respets. Right, this guy is the ultimate pro, a superstar. He has two bikes, not like the rest have got one. This guy is called Danny McGaskill. And I'm gonna start off with this one right here, the one he is well known for. It's his inspired bike, it's a 24 inch wheel, single speed hub. He's got front and rear brakes that are signature by him. They are the MT7s and it has a signature on the lever right at the top. It's got continental tires, front and rear, Crank Brothers stamp, these are the large platform ones, so his feet are stuck there when he's throwing his feet on. You can find his pedals quick. Right, I'm gonna point out the obvious. Obviously, this one's got a rear shock and front shock. Not like that one over there, where it's super solid. He's got Crank Brothers stamp pedals here, but these ones are the small platform. Interesting that he's got the small ones here and the large ones over there. I guess he doesn't take his feet off much on this bike. Right, just got a pivot, just pulled this bike out the rack. This is Bernard Kerr's Switchblade. This is his race bike out here. He's doing dual slalom and downhill on this bike. There's a few things I want to point out that are super special about this bike, but one in particular is these orange forks. They're the 36s, team issue only. You can't buy these unless you win them from somewhere. Another thing is he's got Shimano Di2 electric gears. So those things, there's no cables. It's just quick fire. Another special thing is these Reynolds wheels, full carbon. These are prototypes right now, but Bernard Kerr did say to me that these are his signature wheels called the BKs. Straight up, this thing looks super fast. This is Nino Schurter's Scott Spark. This is the hardtail version. And what makes this thing super sick is these details. They are not stickers. They are all painted in from factory. Another thing to point out, he's got matching grips to match his frame, all carbon. And there's a lot of bling on this bike. Gold, representing gold medalists at the Olympics. And these forks are one-off just for this guy. This top crown is full carbon. And he's even got his name on the forks. That is super pro. Right, we've got Richie Rude's bike right here. He's EWS world champ. And the thing that makes this the super pro bike is the color scheme. With the orange, he's got these super cool orange forks here. The Fox matching his Ergons. Even his Chris King headset coming down. Fox here, even his chain guide is orange. Whew. Moving on to the blue, his Ergon saddle matches the color of his frame and his mosh guard. Even the strap that holds his inner tube matches his frame. This makes that bike super pro. Oh, we've got the man, the big Swede, Martin Soderstrom's bike right here. This is his dual slalom bike out in Sea Otter. The thing that makes this thing super pro is that he's got 26 inch wheels, full carbon, the Kaiser's super aggressive front and rear. Also another thing that makes this even more pro is his signature saddle. Black, he's got gold stitching, gold plated bits under here. And he's got red sensor grips to match the details on his frame. And what makes it even more pro, he's got his name on his forks and he's repping his flag. All <laughs> right, this is Alban Locata's bike, two-time world champ, marathon rider. This bike is built for raw speed on the dirt. It's super minimalistic, carbon everywhere. Carbon seat post, carbon bars, carbon wheels. Look at this Topi carbon bottle cage. What? What makes this bike even more special and more pro is this SIM system here. It's a power meter, so that is measuring all his power when he's riding out there. And also, talk about climbing, look at this gear ratio. 39, 
42. That is a big climbing gear. But what didn't make it more pro is that the color scheme. His saddle ergon matches his frame. His ergon grips match his frame. His forks match his frame. That is pro. Right, this one here, this is Brandon Semenuk's trick downhill bike. It's tricked out, not for downhill, but for sending it hard. He's still got his Red Bull Rampage sticker on the front here, his, his number board. He's representing ride or die, fast as <clears throat> his C3. He's repping Troy Lee, he's got Cro-Mag. And the best thing about this, it's not a 27.5, it's 26, because he wants those small wheels to be easier for this bike to be thrown around. That is pro. Right, we've got powerhouse Jared Gray's bike right here. The thing that makes this bike super special that he's got front and rear Olin suspension. The thing that makes it even more super pro is this rear shock right here. It's got his name on it. It's not in production. It's built just for him. This is an XC bike and he's doing two disciplines on it. He's doing dual slalom and downhill. So he hasn't got any climbing gears. It's a matte black frame, super slick looking with these rad colors. Like the pedals and the Troy Lee grips up there match the details on the frame. That is super pro. Roy, I am done. I have hunted out. I found the best bikes I could find and I've come up with my best one. Mine is Ginny Resvets. That is a sick, sick bike and I loved it. But let me know in the comments down below on what one is your favorite. Don't forget, if you want to see more technology from Seattle, click up here for Neil's tech video. Down here for Pro Bike. Don't forget to click this rad little globe and you won't miss out on any other videos in the near future. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up like.